Hey everybody, welcome back to The Wolf Pit with another episode of What Are We Eating? When summertime rolls around, that's a signal it's time for fresh, sweet corn on the cob. You see it all over the place. Miles and miles of fields filled with corn on the cob. At roadside produce stands up and down country roads as you travel throughout the summer. You see it at your local farmer's market. And you even see decent corn on the cob at your local grocery stores. Good fresh sweet corn on the cob is delicious on its own whether you steam it or you boil it. Add butter, salt, and pepper, and it's even better. But one of my favorite ways to cook corn on the cob is on the grill. It simply takes corn on the cob to a whole new level of deliciousness. Another way I like to cook and eat corn on the cob is with steamed crabs and seafood boils. All of the goodness from the seafood and seasonings soak into each ear of corn for a flavor explosion in your mouth. But as summertime comes to an end, so does the availability of good fresh local corn on the cob. That's when we find ourselves at the mercy of the grocery stores. With corn from all over, and it's not as fresh, and it's not as good, and it's just not the same. But now thanks to the people at So Natural, you can have great corn on the cob year round that you can find in your grocery store shelf that requires no refrigeration. That's right, this is minute corn on the cob that is all natural, packed fresh, with no added sodium, is GMO free, and contains no cholesterol. Which to the best of my knowledge, no corn contains cholesterol, but I could be wrong. This 17.64 ounce pack of corn on the cob costs $1.58 in my local Walmart. Which seems a little pricey to me considering fresh corn on the cob in the summertime is dirt cheap. 20 to 30 cents an ear, or you can find it even cheaper. But with minute corn, we're paying for the convenience, I get it. No shucking, no refrigeration, etc. Minute corn is literally ready in a minute. Well, that's if you go by the front of the package. See, it says one minute and it's ready. But when you read the back of the package, it says two minutes. Maybe on the front, they mean per ear, but it's confusing and a bit misleading. Then I see product of Thailand, which bothers me. I brought this up in my American Tuna video and I was called a racist and all other sorts of things. Why? because I support America, Americans, and American products, especially when the products are readily available here in America. Like tuna and corn, for instance. Here's a fact for you. The United States is the world leader in corn production, producing nearly 377.5 million metric tons of corn. So why do we need or want to import corn, period? So if you consider me a racist for wanting to support Americans and American products, so be it. But I stand by my choice. I was reading over the nutrition facts, and the serving size is one unit, which I would assume is an ear of corn. Wouldn't that be your assumption as well? But then it says there's three servings. I'm not a mathematician, but that simply does not add up to me. Maybe there's a surprise ear of corn in there that will jump out like the snake in the can. Per unit, whatever a unit is, there's 140 calories, three grams of fat, 0.5 grams of saturated fat, no trans fat, no cholesterol, no sodium, 310 milligrams of potassium, 22 carbohydrates, four grams of fiber, two grams of sugars, and five grams of protein. So let's open up the bag of Thai corn on the cob and see what it looks like and then nuke it and give it a try. Well, it looks like regular corn on the cob, but one ear looks a little bit better than the other. There's some mushy kernels in one ear and it basically smelled like corn, but it had an odd odor. Not really a bad odor, just odd. So let's pop these in the microwave for two minutes, and then I'm gonna try Thai corn for my very first time. After two minutes, it's ready. I tried it by itself first. And to be honest, I really expected it to be mushy, but it wasn't mushy at all. The actual texture at first wasn't that bad, but as I continued to chew, it seemed to be tougher and chewier than fresh corn on the cob, and it really didn't have much flavor at all. Good fresh corn on the cob is crisp, sweet, and tender, and doesn't necessarily need anything added. It's simply delicious on its own. But we all love butter. Lots of butter and salt and pepper on corn on the cob. So that's what I did. Of course the flavor was much better after adding butter, salt, and pepper. But anything's gonna taste better once it's buttered and seasoned. Butter's like bacon. It makes everything taste better. The better looking one of the two ears wasn't that great, so I didn't even try the other ear that didn't look so good. My wife also tried it and wasn't crazy about it. And she loves corn on the cob. Her and I agreed it just wasn't great corn. 
So with that said, the product is not absolutely horrible. It's edible and convenient, but so is frozen corn on the cob. So it's not really any more convenient than other corn, other than the fact that it doesn't have to be refrigerated or kept in the freezer. So I'm gonna give the So Fresh Minute Corn on the Cob a three out of 10. I wouldn't waste my money on it again, and I wouldn't recommend you do it either. If you'd like to help support the Wolf Pit, consider being a patron. You can pledge as little as a dollar a month, that's only $12 for the whole year. Or you can pledge more, that's up to you. Either way, every little bit's appreciated and helps me produce more high quality videos more often for you, the people. Thank you all very much for watching. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe, and I'll see you soon.